to H.P. Wyndham Esquire, July the 28th, 1803. Sir, I have this day opened a barrow in Upton Lovell. It is situated in the meads a few yards north of the River Wiley. As the discoveries in this barrow are more important in their nature than any other ever yet made, I hasten to inform you the particulars. This barrow is yet another of Cunnington's remarkable discovery, the finds of which are still in this museum. Their preservation is assured, unlike that of the barrow itself, which has been totally removed by ploughing. When William Cunnington excavated the barrow, he reported that... On making a section lengthwise of the barrow, at about two feet deep we found in a very shallow cyst human burnt bones piled in a little heap, and at a foot's distance a considerable quantity of ashes, which also contained small fragments of human bones, upon which, and at two feet distant from the bones, were found the following articles of pure gold, which are neatly wrought and highly polished, viz. about ten gold beads made in the form of a drum. The Golden Barrow was another puzzling discovery. The person whose remains were accompanied by all this wealth was buried on top of two others. This later burial with its gold and amber is thought to be that of a woman. Perhaps all three people were from the same family. We can never be absolutely certain who this person was. But the items in the grave, gold from Ireland, a complete amber necklace from the Baltic, meant that she was probably a person of great status and wealth, with connections of trade across the entire European continent. We can admire the beauty of the amber necklace and the skills of the ancient goldsmiths. And we can think about the important woman who may have once worn it who she was and why she was buried with those other people are mysteries still to be solved.